continue to lead the way with innovation, determination, technology, green building, inspired initiatives, and operational efficiency. Receiving an A1 rating and stable financial outlook from Moody's while we cut taxes and increase services. Our cities have continued to struggle and downsize their forces. We did not lay off a single public safety worker. We have retained our police and firefighters and remain committed to new hires this year. And continuing to support our city, Trinitas provides quality health care through innovative services performing the state's first robot-assisted bariatric surgery, offering Acuboost, a non-invasive form of breast cancer treatment, and preserving brain function following cardiac arrest with code frosting, further expanding knowledge and creating opportunities, our Office on Aging provides assistance to our residents, educational resource programs, Without them, we could not have come this far. 
or be ready to embrace our exciting future. Across our state, throughout our nation, individuals have lost their jobs and continue to endure month after month on unemployment, searching, waiting for a chance. Our unemployment rate is among the lowest of New Jersey's largest cities, and we are looking to reduce that even more. Within the coming months, a new initiative will be implemented that will place the employment of our residents first and put our city back to work. A new program, Elizabeth Hires, we are helping to invest in residents through employment and support. Elizabeth residents will be hired for a designated period and assigned to perform public works jobs, beautifying our city, increasing skills through on-the-job training, and assisting families with needed income for the future. From Elmora to Elizabethport, more than 30 streets have been paved through our aggressive road resurfacing program. Our efforts to transform Mars Avenue, a revitalization plan is under review, including the widening of sidewalks, creating a pedestrian-friendly shopping experience, Kane University banners to adorn the streets, creating a collegiate connection throughout the district. Through funding awarded by the New Jersey Department of Transportation, traffic signals were placed on West Jersey Street across from Union County College. The Verona Get Park project and Summer Street improvements were completed, significantly reducing flooding during major rain events and enabling easier travel in all weather. We broke ground on Phase 1 of the Elizabeth River Trail, which is being constructed along the Elizabeth River between South Broad and Bridge Street. This initiative is in a partnership between our city and our county, state and federal agencies and groundwork Elizabeth. Phase two will take place from Bridge Street to South Street, has also received funding through the Union County Kids Recreation Trust Grant, will be undergoing design within the next couple of months. Despite trend and the reduction of state aid and the elimination of the urban enterprise zone and the implementation of a 2% cap in Elizabeth, there was not a single public safety worker laid off. And later this month, we will add 18 more, and some of them are in the audience, so I'd like to ask them to just stand up. Some of the state of the advancements provide our police with the resources they require to stay ahead and be prepared on assignment. Surveillance cameras, data terminals, facial recognition software, and 15 mobile and fixed license plate recorders. This technology allows officers to obtain instant information that may be relevant to ongoing investigations, enabling prompt, informed response for our emergency personnel. In 2011, the Elizabeth Fire Department received a new heavy rescue and maintenance unit, upgraded extrication equipment. All of these items were funded through President Obama's stimulus program at no cost to our city taxpayers. In the coming months, we will hire an additional 15 firefighters providing even more protection for our residents and we are increasing services while cutting your taxes. In 2011, I joined more than 20 new businesses as they opened their doors and became part of Elizabeth's community. Revolution Foods, Big Lots, RSC Equipment, Delicious Desserts, Investors Bank, and last year, I talked about Wake Firm Food Corporation in the state of the city address and their plans to expand their facilities in Elizabeth. As this project moved forward, I worked closely with the presidents of Elmeron Development Corporation and Wake Firm. This March, we will break ground on a new 524,000 square foot facility creating hundreds of new jobs for our city. We have serviced our seniors, protected our children, and invested in our future. From maintaining the affordability of living to increasing opportunities and critical services, we will continue to fight for our residents because we are here to serve. 
And when our fellow citizens struggle with the loss of their jobs and search for opportunities, we did not sit idly by. We took action, creating an employment program, increasing the skills, on-the-job training, and cutting your taxes, hiring more police officers, hiring more firefighters, expanding community programs, and cutting your taxes. Look around. We are co-workers. We are friends. Above all, we are neighbors. We are not bystanders looking in. We do not sit back and watch and see what happens next. We stand up for what we believe in and for what our city deserves. We cut your taxes. We increase your services. We have developed a strength in our community and an unstoppable energy, fueled by an undeniable commitment to be our city and our future. We will accept nothing less than the best as we continue to put Elizabeth residents first. This is our commitment to our city, our promise to our future, because Elizabeth is not just a place on a map, it is a home, and together we will create an even better tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.